a big album but let's say I click on one picture here here's me with uh, my best friend actually Constantine and we're having a nice picture uh, as you can see you can double tap on the picture to switch it from full view to uh, fit screen view so um, this is a feature that's uh, pretty helpful depends on how, how you want to see the picture uh, now if you click on the menu button you get the option to uh, show the tags here so it looks like that there is one tag that says finger this is something that I added before but um, let's say I want to tag a real person instead of an object or a, or a thing so I long press on this person's name and the same screen that was just loaded from my friends list shows up so I can start typing his name here and there you go this is the person's name I can click OK wait a little bit and then you'll see the tag has been added on Facebook now also because this is a name and this belongs to a person I can click on it and it will take me to this person's profile which is a similar wall and everything as you can see it looks like since I've already rehearsed the video um, this person has been tagged twice with this photo uh, so we're gonna go back here to the screen now this video is relatively small in size we gotta make it bigger so we're gonna upload some photos here with blue one you don't have any limitation about the size of the photo you can upload unlike other applications you can upload any kind of picture you want like a picture you just took from your uh, digital camera from your phone um, let's get started with a relatively medium sized picture, picture like this one I click on the picture and I get to ask what caption I would like to have for the picture so I'm gonna have something like fun and I click OK and as you can see the upload process starts picture completely uploaded really fast and there you have it the new picture is here on the album now I can click on this picture and this is you can see the caption that I just uploaded this all happens on Facebook I can double tap to go to the full screen view and I can start tagging people if you click show tags you'll see that there's no tags in this photo at all so I'm gonna click on this person and then I'm gonna start typing his name real quick and if I go down the screen this is the person right here I click OK this photo has been tagged if I click show tags will show them I can click to remove the tags um, so this is how uploading works you can even include large size pictures and everything Facebook will take care of resizing them anyways because that's what it does uh, they won't allow really large pictures to happen but you can upload them anyways so let's go back um, we're back at the home screen and we're gonna go check the events the events menu shows any upcoming event that you have they're sorted by the time and they also show a little bit of the events that happened three or four days ago uh, this is because I would like in the future to implement a feature so you can find people that you met in an event and add them as a friend on Facebook um, so as assuming that I've created this event here which includes me and my friends to go get some mojitos here um, you can see my RSVP uh, from who the event was hosted, uh, what kind of event it is, the date, and the flyer. Now, I know there was a promise feature to RSVP on events or change RSVP status. However, unfortunately, I meant however, uh, Facebook doesn't allow this because of the limitation of the API. I'm fighting for you guys, I'm trying to get that in. Just be patient, but we still have cool stuff in here, such as the directions. You can actually uh, click from any location you are, any last known GPS location your phone has, and you can get directions to that event. Since I'm in a building, my GPS could not get any signal, but it's using my last known location. Uh, so if you wait a little bit, this is standard Google Maps. I was pretty near the building actually before I went out, and you can start seeing that it takes you to the event. This is pretty cool and useful if you're on the road and you're trying to get uh, find your way to a Facebook event, um, and you get lost. Another cool feature is if you click the menu you can synchronize this event with your Google Calendar which means if you click on it here it looks like that I already have the, that event on my calendar. I can update it in case somebody updated the time. I can delete it from my Google Calendar or I can completely ignore any of these options. This is very useful if you're trying to synchronize your Facebook events with your Google Calendar and you know what's going on. Um, I think this concludes the uh, demo um, sort of um, show off of all the features that Blue comes with. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, the application will be released by the end of this week. Um, the application will be a paid application at the price of $1.49. Uh, 
Um, I promise you there will be more. I promise you there will be great support for this application. Uh, I'm trying my best since Google or Facebook are not trying anything. So I'm really hoping to uh, hear from your feedback. Thank you very much. Enjoy.